What's up, everybody? Today is the day on TrueNAS where we get to actually have per app IP addressing for individual apps that value into individual IPs that are not the IP of the server. So in case you missed this announcement, here's the actual announcement from the TrueNAS blog coming from TrueNAS itself. This is going to be the app's deadline. So a couple caveats here. First off, if you're watching this now, I'm recording this on Monday, June 2nd, which is the day that it actually pushed. Even though I said it's a June 1st push, it's really a June 2nd push because June 1st is a, is a Sunday and they pushed on Monday. So you need to be on certain versions for this to work. You need to either be on 24.10.2.2. So if you're on Electric Eel, you should already see an update to get this at 24.10.2.2. Or if you're on Fang Tooth, you're already good. But if you're on another version of this, uh, you got some trouble. So if you're on 24.04 or anything before 24.04, uh, you have now already lost the ability to update without having to reinstall your apps. So for example, say I'm on Electric, not even, say I'm on Dragonfish, which is 24.04. If I try to update from Dragonfish right now to Fangtooth or to Electric Eel, I'm going to have to delete and then reinstall all of my apps from scratch. So that's what's going to happen if you haven't already gotten there. But if you're already on 24.10, any version, just push to the latest to 24.10. If you're on Fangtooth, uh, you're good. You're already fine. So don't worry about that if you're already on the latest versions. I think only 5% of users are still not on one of those two versions that I just named, um, the 24.10 or the 25.04. So Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to actually do this. Okay, so looking at my TrueNAS dashboard, I'm going to go over to my apps page. And again, this is for community apps. Don't try and do this in Docker. Uh, so I'm going to use Radar right now as an example. So I've got Radar up and running, um, and I've already updated my apps catalog. So to do that, just in case you haven't done that yet, go to Discover Apps, go to Refresh Catalog. You'll see it pull a sync. That's perfect. Now I'm going to come over to my apps, and I already have Radar. So what I want to do is I need to do two things before I actually give Radar a custom IP and port. The first thing I need to do is I need to figure out which IP I can give it. So I'm going to jump over to my router page here. So I use Verizon. This is what the Verizon router page looks like. I'm under devices and I've changed this little uh, view here by clicking this filter and just only checking the, the name and the IP4 address because that's all I need. So this shows me every single device on my network and its IP address. The reason I need to see this is I can't, for example, pick 10.99.0.2. That's already in use by one of my cameras. So that's not going to work. I need to find a number that's not on this list within the 10.99.0.0 slash 24 net. Um, so yeah, that's fine. So in this case, like for example, my TrueNAS server is on 10.99.0.191. So I scroll down here. This is TrueNAS. Uh, I'm just going to use 10.99.0.190 because you see here between 185 and 191, there's nothing that's in use. So I'm going to use 190. So what I want to do is I want to jump over to my network page and now I have a bridge installed. It doesn't matter which network interface it, it needs to be the network, network interface you're using. So I wouldn't want to mess with ENS18 because I have bridge a bridge built and ENS18 is a member of the bridge. I recommend you have a bridge built for a lot of purposes, but if you don't, whatever interface you're using that you see this IP address on, that's the one you want to adjust, the one that's got the IP addresses listed under it. So I'm going to click the pencil, and I want to give another alias to my bridge. I want to give 1099.0.190, like I said before, to this bridge. So I want it to be slash 24, and I'm going to click Save. And it's going to ask me if I want to test. I do want to test, and I'm going to confirm that and click Test. And because I can see this page, I can save it. And it worked. So there we go. So now I have a, a given an additional alias to the bridge of 190. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to apps. And I'm going to jump over to radar. And I'm going to edit radar. So right now when I scroll down to network configuration, you're going to see there's a couple options I have here. So the publish the port on the host for external access. I absolutely want to do that. You can do an inner container only or you do none, but you want to have external access. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get to it. And now it says host IPs. This is the section where I add my custom IP. I'm going to click add. I'm going to click the new alias here. So 191 is the address it has right now. Uh, I'm going to give it 190 because that's, that's, that's what's not in use. I'm going to leave the host network unchecked. That's fine. I'll come down here and I'm going to update. Cool. So let's come down to radar. Now see it's deploying. Give it a second here. And now it's running. So you'll see here now the TCP port is 1099.0.190. Not 191, which is where true nice is, but 190.78.78. I noticed a small bug. Uh, and the bug is this. Um, when I go to click the web UI, it's not going to work. It's going to try and look at 191, but it's not there. It's at 190. So I'm going to show you that 190 right there. And there's radar. It's working on a completely different IP address, same port 7878 than TrueNOS is running on. 
So that's just a quick overview of how to get this up and running. Um, again, it's still, this is the first hour or two this has been released. So yeah, there might be a few things like the web UI button not kicking you out to the right address, but that's okay, that's a minor thing. The point is it's working. And of course, you're gonna need to know if you wanna give every single one of these a different address, you have to actually reserve them uh, in the network tab under your aliases, for the, in this case for me, for the bridge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any issues that you guys are seeing, please leave a comment below in the comment board uh, and I'll get to it uh, if I can, if there's an answer for you guys yet, because I'm still going back and forth with IX systems for the little things that I've seen so far. Uh, if you have something very com like technical to comment on, just put it in Discord because it's a better, way better place to have a conversation than uh, the discussion on the video. But thank you for doing this. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Please leave your comments below. And if you want to say thank you to me personally, please buy me a coffee.